All right, guys. <clears throat> well, I got my V-bar today, the mini V-bar. It's going to go in this Gowie X3 I have here. But I wanted to give you guys a heads up. Uh, I ordered a V-bar from eBay, all right, guys? So I want you to be aware of this. It was a blue mini V-bar. I got this thing. It came in a Mikado box. It came with, uh, it was running version 5. And uh, the disc that it came with was 5.2. And the guy that sold it to me said it was brand new. So, long story short, I took it out. I tried updating the software on this mini V-bar that I got. And uh, come to find out, every time I would try to update this thing, it would give me some type of error message, failed to connect, and all this stuff. So I contacted Mikado, and I tried transferring this V-bar that was so-called new. So I put the serial number in, and I didn't know the email address. So if you don't know the email address, they want a, a log file or a picture of it that's running, uh, the, a picture of it that's uh, when it's hooked up to the computer. So I did that. Didn't think anything of it. Two days, or a day later, Rainer, Vetter, of course, I don't know if you guys know, if you guys have V-bars, you probably heard this guy. He's all over the internet with problems and setups and all kinds of stuff. He wanted to know where I got this V-bar from. So I told him I bought it from this guy on eBay. I gave him his email address. Long story short, an hour before that, he tried registering it. Come to find out, it was a clone V-bar. And I mean, it was a clone so good, you couldn't even tell. And the only thing that I found on that V-bar that it was somewhat different is right where the mini USB is where you plug it in has CP on it right by it and I gave Rainer the serial number and the guy that I bought it off of eBay sent me an email through eBay stating that these units were cloned he just found out and Rainer was the one that sent him the email so uh, anyway, long story short, I got my money back. And I mean, guys, you could not tell. The only way I could tell was is it wouldn't register. And when I knew it wouldn't register, I knew something funny was going on. But what was different about it was, um, like I said, the CP was on the, on the USB port. And what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to pause this because I want to make everybody aware of what's going on out there. So, hold on one second. Alright guys, I'm back. The way I kind of figured out something was funny was, is that the sticker, the Mikado sticker that goes around the V with the channels right here with RX1 and RX2, it had bubbles underneath it. It was really weird looking. It didn't look... It looks like they just didn't apply the sticker very well, you know, and I've never had a V-bar that looked like that. It was perfect. So that was my first, that was my f just first clue that the thing was, it just didn't, something didn't feel right about it. The second thing was, is that right there, that USB right there where it says USB, to the right of it had the letter CP on it. And the plug set up right here for the four pin plug right there. There was no rubber piece in there. But other than that guys you could not tell. I mean if I wouldn't have owned a V-Bar before I would have never knew. I mean it was identical. The case, everything. Now, I never took it apart or anything, but, like I said, it even, it worked. It worked on the Mikado uh, 5.0, but that was the other thing, too. 
the software that was on it was 5.0.999, which I knew right off the bat something funny was about some, something funny was with that software. But I just want to make you guys aware of what's going on out there. And the first thing you should do when you get these things is register it. If it don't register, something is up with it. It's more than likely a clone. But that was the closest clone I've ever seen. I mean, they make the K-Bar and the Foo Bar. This thing said McCall. I mean, it looked identical. I mean, even the USB port, everything was the same. Everything. It just wouldn't register. And as soon as I knew that, something was up. So... Um, but, uh, alright guys, I just want to give you guys a heads up on what's going on out there, so, but, um, yeah, make sure you look at that close, especially if you buy one. This one came in a vacuum sealed bag, because this was pulled from a logo kit, so, um, but, uh, alright guys, just, uh, take it easy, and, uh, have a uh, happy holidays, you know what I'm saying? Happy Christmas and uh, 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 happy uh, uh, New Year. So, okay guys, take it easy.